Hey everybody, it's Merlin here. I've got my buddy Nick. Now, uh, we're going to be talking about Ghost in the Shell today, the live action Scarlett Johansson version. And now, I considered almost not doing this because, you know, I mean, I wasn't really sure, but I figured a lot of anime content on my channel. Plus, I've been talking about the Ghost in the Shell news since like two years ago when I first heard it was a thing. Yeah. So, like, literally, it was like the first like news podcast I ever did like January 8th of 2014. I, so I'm like, <laughs> yeah. if I don't review this, it's kind of be kind of yeah, stupid. Too, yeah. But uh, anyway, basically it's sort of a remake, a live action adaptation of the original film, mm -hmm. but they did tweak some plot points. It's not a carbon copy, but uh, it's, that's pretty much it. Uh, it's, it's very much Ghost in the Shell. Honestly, I, for the most part, I kind of liked it. What do you think? Nick? Yeah, I mean... Definitely two years ago when I first heard about it, I thought it was a joke. I thought it would be really bad. Mm -hmm. But it was really good. A lot better than I thought it was going to be. And, I mean, yeah. I, it, it definitely was like... Could have been better. It was definitely some spots uh, that were like rough. The, uh, the thing I think we kind of both agreed on uh, is that like the, the feel of the movie it feels very much like Ghost in the Shell. Like, the way it's shot, they really are trying to emulate yeah. a lot of the sequences. Yeah, it... it Feels like Ghost of the Shell. It is Ghost of the Shell, Except, but it's not. Because the biggest thing they left out, you know, of the plot is that you see, Ghost of the Shell, besides being like really cyberpunk, which this was, yeah. it's also really deep, really like philosophical, existentialist. They kind of touch on those themes with an occasional line or two. But they brush over it. That's the thing. Like, if like, this was an R rated movie and they had those adult conversations, really intense, that they just didn't have. So it felt really like. A PG-13, like, teenagers kind of like... Yeah, well, and the sad thing about it is, I mean, you're right. I think they would have catered it to the ratings, but just because something's PG-13 doesn't mean it has to be dumbed down. Yeah. But, it, but it's like they thought, let's lower the nudity, let's lower the violence, but we yeah. have to lower the themes, too. And I mean, I understand lowering the nudity, I understand lowering the violence, but, like, you need, without that level of, like, intellectual, like, I don't know. Content. Yeah, it just isn't as good. Well, and, and we were noticing the the only real negative in terms of the filmmaking was there were some of these like kind of longer artsier scenes that were usually pretty to look at and the soundtrack was appropriate, but there would just be nothing. Like they wouldn't yeah. be talking, they'd just be kind of there and like you'd have her and Bato together and in the anime and in the series, that would be where they're having lots of really intense conversations, yeah. which is what people tune into Ghost in the Shell for, really. Mm -hmm. And for the most part, that was kind of not there. Yeah. Uh, but, though, I still kind of feel like they got the characters down. I think the characters were... I, I think everything about the movie was great. I think that was the only problem, was it just didn't feel like... Uh, like Ghost in the Shell some of the time. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, the, the it's like the, the building blocks were there, but they didn't fill them in correctly with cement. Yeah, you know, you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah the, that's, uh, that's actually decent metaphor. It's pretty good, yeah. But uh, I wanted to say I want to give Scarlett Hansen because I think everyone's got to kind of praise her. She's a really good actress, and I like the way you can tell that she watched the anime yeah. and she tried to model her voice inflections mm -hmm. about cold uh, about Major Kusanagi is. And I liked the way her movements were like really like as if she was pretending not necessarily that she was a robot, but she was very stiff. Yeah. Like someone who's aware they're in a body, but not really a body. Mm -hmm. Like, I think she captured that well, and that's one thing about the... I don't know if it's the direction, too, but they work together really, like, to get her movements down yeah. really well. I, I mean, yeah, all the, action, all the acting was on point. All, like, the little movements, the subtleties, the background, like, Which all is, the soundtrack. And, and, and if and I, I love atmosphere, atmospherically driven films, so even if it's not, like, dialogue or plot heavy, if I feel it... Yeah, I still get it. Like I was really into some of these scenes. Yeah, like, it was like the techno the music. First, yeah, definitely the first half was really good, and it just flowed, and it was, it felt great. But uh, the main difference is like the first movie. There, they kind of don't really go too much into her background. They kind of touch upon it, but it's more like they're ingrained, like they've been yeah. doing it for a while. And my favorite thing about the first movie, actually, it's really mostly what I know because I'm not a huge Ghost in the Shell fan, but I do like the first movie, and you do too, right? Yeah, well, that's the only one I've seen. But, but it's the first movie, but, but you get yeah, I get it. The the thing I liked about the first movie was the villain, actually, like the mm -hmm. weird, like amorphous uh, AI evil guy in the net. Yeah, who, like he's a terrorist. They kind of made up. Uh, it's a different villain, like kind of yeah. similar, but they kind of tie him in more with the backstory. And it, and it works. It, it works, but they kind of build up a very predictable plot. Like you know who the villain is from like first scene he's in. Kinda, yeah. And they build it up like it's a twist, but it's real. There's no, no twist. Yeah. So obvious. Yeah, you're right. So that, that like in terms of plot, that was kind of weak. But the big thing I want to talk to you about is actually. Uh, 
like the big controversy, obviously, is the fact that Scarlett Johansson is you know Caucasian. This is a heavily Asian and inspired thing. My, my reason why I didn't really worry about it too much is because I figure a lot of the characters didn't necessarily look Asian, and if you're making people to look like robots, you can make them however you want to look like. Well, and that's as I think it's a cartoon, guys. Originally, like I, I don't know. Yeah, it's supposed to be like an Asian theme, but I mean. Fuck, dude. But the point is, obviously, they, they might have done some rewrites there yeah. to kind of work that in. And this is kind of going to spoiler territory, but yeah. All right, spoilers. Spoilers. Uh, they, the big thing is, which is interesting, I, I kind of liked it, was you kind of get to learn a bit more about Kusanagi's past, and they kind of hid it from her, obviously, and she actually finds her mother, and her mother is Asian. Yeah, and, and I mean... And I thought it was a fu- easy way of dealing with it. Yeah, and it added like another layer of the dehumanization. And it actually was one of those good things that... Very ghost in the shell. Yeah, that touched into that like theme that corporations just don't care. The corporations don't care. They'll take away your identity and your culture. Exactly. But the thing, and that was a part of her losing that. And then the question comes in about identity necessarily, about you know how much does your race or your cultural background define you? Yeah. Because the, the line they keep repeating is your memories don't define you. It's exactly. what you do, which... Which is, I think, debatable. It's, I mean, it's, it's debatable. It's part of it. Um, it's, memories it's, are part of who you are, but you know how you move forward, I guess. Yeah, but I think, I think the whole movie was like that. It don't have made you know think, but it just wasn't. But it didn't put enough time into those conversations. Yeah. Uh, there were some couple little fan moments, like I think uh, there were some good throwing lines, like with oh, the characters yeah. and uh, the guy they they got who was always speaking in Japanese. I forget who he is in the anime, but he he was pretty badass. Yeah. Like you think he's an old guy, but he's. He's, He's pretty cool. Pretty scene stealer, but uh, there were a couple minor things. Like the visuals were really good, but a couple times where they weren't. Well, like, when, like when they aren't good. When there are a couple scenes, but like it's an anime, you can't recreate everything. It's just like they, a fact. Like the big, the big showstoppers. They try to recreate the big action scene where they fight the spider Spiders, robot, yeah. which is they were you know that it was really good up until like like, like and that scene. I'm like that part of the anime is like some of the most fluid detailed animation. Yeah. Her moving around the walls and getting torn up and that that chunk clunky thing, and I'm like. I'm glad they're doing it. It doesn't look terrible, but if that were practical effects, that would be so much better. Yeah, I agree. It, or even like old school stop motion, like RoboCop style, mm-hmm. would have been kind of cool. And like for the most, and they didn't really have much action. It's just kind of shooting in the mist, and you're like, it's going to be hard for them to recreate yeah, the all the whole, motion without the it. whole scene was yeah. really just Rush. whenever whenever it was just her, it was just smoke, smoke around her, and then like that one scene where she runs up in the and that was like, just comical. I was oh, like, oh, I was like, oh there, there are a couple moments like that. But, uh, yeah, but, like, so it's not perfect. There's definitely some problems. It could have been better, yeah. but it could have been a lot worse. Yeah. It could have been a lot worse. I think a lot of people expect it to be worse. I think it would be really good, and I, I hope it does good, because, I, I mean, I kind of want to see another well, one. The, well, the important thing about this is, too, this is actually a very important movie, because anime is still kind of niche, but it's been slowly growing in popularity. And if it's gotten popular enough that, you know, a, it can make movies like these yeah. and not totally suck... And I think I think that's really unfortunate. I hope that they, at some point they come back to remake Ghost in the Shell as an R-rated movie. Yeah. Because I think that was the big problem and they were scared that if they made an R-rated movie, Most no one's going to see it. But I mean, it's pretty niche anyway, so if you alienate your core fan base, it's making it worse. You know, but they were trying to broaden people to get yeah, them they in. they had to broaden it, you know what I mean? Yeah, no, if they come back and sequelize and make it R, that'd be cool. I don't know. We saw it on opening night, and it was. I don't know if it need. I don't know if they'd sequelize it to make it R. I, I think it would just come back in four reboot. years and just do a reboot, and like everything else. I mean, that's what they do, anyways. It's like. Well, I mean, as far as I would as, still go see it. Yeah, I mean, no, I I'm glad I saw it. Like I I'm, I definitely feel like it's it could have been worse. I'm glad I watched it, and uh, yeah, if if they went back and tackled it again, I, I'd be down for it. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, but uh, pretty enjoyable. Like not not too bad. Uh, it was it was it was a pretty all right film. I think what else? There was some like I don't know. Yeah, it was really good. <laughs> yeah, I, I just lost it, but it's like no. Uh, yeah, no. I think uh, I think it was decent. I, I liked. I kind of like the bad guy. I like the I like the bad guy. Sympathetic. Liked... Uh, the, well, the real well the the there's kind of a fake bad guy. He's kind of all right. Uh, I mean, I like both the, of them. Well, the other bad guy was straight evil, hammy. Like I yeah. am evil. He was. Yeah, he, like well, actually, that was the one negative I have was that going along with not being really in depth with things, their villains. They had two the, villains. They, and they really only need one. Yeah, and they didn't really write either of them particularly well. And the mm-hmm. the real bad guy, the corporate guy, you'll know immediately. 
in he's the, one in the, knows he's in the first scene. Yeah. And you're like, wow, he's the bad guy. He's behind it. They're not trying to hide it. Yeah. He's evil for evil's sake. We don't know anything about him. And for some movies, I'd say that's fine. For something that's supposed to be as intelligent and thoughtful as Ghost mm-hmm. in the Shell, yeah. he should go into it deeper. But I hope they make more anime live action films. And honestly, if they can... The key thing I want to say is this. I can say that watching this movie, I felt that in terms of at least the little details for the most part, they watched it. They tried to do their best to live up to the spirit to it. They didn't capture it exactly. But they tried pretty hard. I think I, mean, I think capturing it really came down to the writing more than anything else. Which is kind of where it was lacking. And then... The visuals were there. Yeah. Oh, I, this comes up a lot in like the cyberpunk stuff, but they try to capture like a Blade Runner esque world, and they had like the giant yeah. like hologram advertisements yeah. everywhere. And I'm like, I think to myself, that looks really cool, but how much power are they losing for those ads? Oh, I don't know. They all felt like jokes. <laughs> Every single one of them felt like a meme. Like, yeah. <laughs> That's the future. Yeah. Just a bunch of memes where no one cares. And some of the like cybernetic prosthetics I, made sense, but why is it the evil henchmen guys have like? Robotic jaws. Oh, like what's the, I don't know. Like the, I think that was purely aesthetic to be creepy. I'm like, there's what's the it benefit? It could have been they just lost all their teeth, and that's what they give now. It's just metal teeth. <laughs> it's it, cheaper. I was kind of joking. I know Bato gets the robotic eyes, but uh, I saw it with a lady friend, and you were there, and it was, I was kind of joking. Like I feel like in this universe where everything's cybernetic, they could probably just regrow eyes. Like, well, yeah, why, she has normal eyes. Yeah, why, like why, why, why can't he have normal eyes? <laughs> Yeah. Or, or synthetic guys that seem really, really real. Like, yeah. So some little things you just wonder about, but I, don't know. I, I feel like in a lot of ways it was Ghost in the Shell, but some key things were really missing. Yeah. I'm trying to think. Some of the ads were really funny. There was one where it was like, it was just like for a gym ad, but it was just like it's she funny. had cybernetic legs uh, and she was doing um, bench, uh, bench works, but it was this giant thing. And, oh, they didn't show us the whole thing, but I guess it was like in front of a hotel or something, but... The, the the dancing woman in this big dress yeah. is like right in front of the parking lot area. I'm like, that's that just seems distracting. Like well, that's what ads supposed to. I you know. I know, but I'm like, I guess I'll go to this hotel or this theater or whatever. <laughs> like, I'm just distracted by this Ooh. awesome hologram that they put a million dollars into was, just to be there. Good, yeah. There's stuff like that. So the little touches were cool. Like it was very pretty. The dream sequences were pretty. Um, action was decent. Like I like the characters. Uh, just. Kind of wish the plot had been a little better. Yeah, I think yeah, I think, I yeah. think that's right. It's just the plot and the writing and. But uh, I think it depends. The, the race thing, I think it depends contextually. Like maybe anime to anime, but you know, I think in certain ones, if you keep true to the main ideas of it, yeah, it doesn't be the same story through and through. It doesn't matter necessarily if they're Asian or not. Some people might not like that, but that was that was not the biggest problem in this movie. No, I agree. I mean. The Japanese apparently aren't too mad about it, so... Oh, they don't care. So why, why should like, we care? Like, like, the writer said a couple of days ago, or a couple of weeks ago, that it was, it was, he's just, the main character's not supposed to be Japanese. She's not supposed to feel Japanese. She's supposed to be, feel alienated and be different than everyone else and, and it, feel and, that way. And it's another level of demonization and culture shock. If you've yeah. got somebody who's Caucasian in... Japan, yeah, yeah another it's like, alienation. The, yeah, it's like the big bad guy's whole motive is just to make her feel like a robot. And that's, you know, yeah. that's just part of it. Yeah, and and I really, they touch on that a little. I just wish they went deeper. Yeah. But, I don't know, this is the tough part. You know, I'm I'm feeling pretty confident about my grade. I'm going to leave it with a B-. minus. I think it was decent and it was flawed, but I enjoyed it enough and I was happy enough that I was able to kind of go through it pretty fluidly. You were thinking B plus. I was, you know, going in, I was expecting a B plus. I think they delivered. I think they delivered a B plus. All right. But they definitely did not deliver an A. Which is unfortunate. <laughs> oh. But like, this is the movie, the kind of movie that you should go see. It is definitely worth seeing, and you I don't th- feel bad that I saw it. Do you think? But that, it's not uh, the kind of movie I'm going to go out and be like, want to see with my friends again. Do, do you think that Ghost in the Shell fans should not protest it? They should go see it. I think it's. Yeah, I think it's worth seeing. Honestly, if like. <laughs> I don't know, but there's always gonna it's always gonna be like that. There's always gonna the movie's version's always gonna be different. It's no matter always, what, yeah. yeah, it's always not gonna feel the same or be the same. Yeah, that's true. But you just uh, kind of need to go over that. <laughs> sorry, guys. Yeah. Like, yeah, no matter what, even if they made a ration, there would have been differences. Yeah, but uh, no, it, it it definitely wasn't perfect, but I thought it was decent. So yeah, that's Ghost in the Shell, and uh, thanks, Nick. And yeah, I guess we'll try to hit another one in the near future. I don't know. We'll see. It'll happen. I mean, it's going to happen. 
but no. who knows what it's going to be. I didn't. I actually didn't think Ghost in the Shell was going to be one you'd be there. I didn't know you were hyped for it. Ghost in the Shell is hyped for Ghost in the Shell. I didn't know that. I love Ghost in the Shell. It's a good anime. It is good. It's very I really good. wish I watched the show. But you should. I just don't have enough time. Yeah, I, I, I'm as, just... as I watch Dragon Ball Super. <laughs> Priorities. Well, to be fair, that's uh, you could turn your brain off a little more. No, see, I'm on that episode like 27 or 28. Are you watching the dub? No. Oh, you watch the sub. I'm watching the sub, but I'm on episode twenty-seven, twenty-eight. Well, I gotta, I gotta catch up. I actually want to go back and watch the Goku Black Art because the more I hear about it, I'm more interested. Mm -hmm. So, not, yeah, exactly. I don't, have, I don't have time, but I still make time for Dragon Ball Super. So, you know, yeah. we're full of it. Well, it's, I mean, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, I watch really, so many other animes. <laughs> like, it's pretty you know, bad. it's destroyed your argument. No, yeah. but in all fairness, you gotta really pay attention to Ghost of the Shell, and it's some of those episodes are pretty slow. It, that, that's, but that's a whole other conversation. Yeah. But uh, I agree. all right, well, I'm gonna say stay magical and. Uh, have fun, guys. <laughs> Just, uh, yeah.